And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Ephemerals. We're going to be playing some Shark Chariot and Ephemeral stuff here with Lucian um, and our other champion, of course, being Hecarim, our Ephemeral champion. But Lucian wants to see a bunch of allies die. So if it's seen four plus allies die or Senna die, then we can level up Lucian and so we can try to rally and get more attacks. And the more attacks that you have, the more you get to rally with more attacks, the better for Shark Chariot. Because, of course, it'll, it'll be able to attack, it will die, and then uh, it'll be able to attack again. Um, there's, you know, like, whenever you play games, they, you know, games can take oh, you know, different uh, turns, and you're going to need different cards for different scenarios. And so we got a lot of ones and a lot of two ofs. In this deck and i like that i like how we have a bunch of versatility in here that we're not always going to do just the same thing and then if we're behind we don't have any options uh some some of our one ofs of course rekindler bringing back hecarim um is just amazing but it's you know we don't want to just have our hand flooded with rekindlers right so we're, we just got our one in here concerned strikes basically our vengeance neverglade collector can give us some reach that our deck maybe doesn't you know wouldn't have otherwise um, Grizzled Ranger and Vanguard Sergeant are awesome blockers, which our deck doesn't really block that well. And Sergeant creating that four Demacia could give us a really good attack at some point later in the game. Um, or even just a really good block playing it on defense. Grizzled Ranger is great with Lucian of, you know, you attack in and they, they kind of have to block because, you know, it's just a lot of damage. We're putting pressure on them. And if they block, it helps your Lucian level up. Whenever you do have a leveled up Lucian, then you don't really want to use the scout things. We just got one of them in here, um, but it's it's another good card that can. Uh, it's another good card with like Chronicler of Ruin or Blighted Caretaker or anything like that. It's another good card to sacrifice. Stirred Spirits um, and Sapling Toss are both important because these are two ways that we can go to our turn and get you know gain the attack token on our turn. And then attack immediately with an ephemeral and bring Shark Chariot back. If we cast Sapling Toss on their turn, then Round Start will have the Sapling, so we'll have the ephemeral immediately at the Round Start. Um, so that's pretty important of being able to uh, attack immediately with Sharks. And then same thing, Stirred Spirits can support whatever and make it ephemeral, and then we get our Shark um, back as well. So let's give this a try. We're gonna go play five games over in Ranked. Hey, Vaza. And we'll see how our Lucian Ephemerals deck does. Bunch of interesting stuff going on here. And of course, we have Senna to pair with the Lucian, where we have a Ravenous Butcher that can sacrifice Senna, Chronicler of Ruin, Blighted Caretaker, Single Combat. We have a lot of ways that we can have Senna die to level up Lucian. Have sacrifici sacrificial Senna. Okay, we don't interact that well. As far as like this deck usually tries to make a, a really large, like really large ephemerals. We don't interact that well. Concerted Strike is like our one thing that does interact with that. We we are playing a Purify. This would be a good matchup for Purify. Uh, my plan right now is Lucian on two. So if we have the attack token turn four, so we can go Lucian on two, Senna on three, and then on turn four we can go Caretaker on Senna, level up Lucian, get some other, get some two one saplings, the go challenge. Especially if they have like a small fizz. We can challenge a small fizz with that. Um. Oh no, I no, I haven't really tried the Nocturne Maokai too much off stream. Have you have you still been playing it? How's it been going for you? All right, so no elixir of iron, Nano, which is good. Oh, 
All right, so I could also just level up Lucian right now with this Butcher. I don't think that's as good. Man, I wish I had the mana for Shark Chariot and Caretaker. Is Caretaker even that good? Yeah, it probably is. We're gonna need more coffins. Deal me in. Something for all. Yeah, it was a fake great. Wow. This would be a good winter. Pretty good. All right, we got a new Lucian. That was harsh. That was harsh. Really, Glimpse Beyond? I couldn't have had you last turn just to sacrifice one of those things to draw two cards. Alright, so good news. I'm just gonna draw two. I need some more cards. So good news they have less mana for all of these cards they now have. Game's probably over. Blessed by snow and stars. This would be a good winter. Yeah, everything everything went really bad for me. Every every decision that I made, every, everywhere, every decision I made just did not end up being the correct decision. Every line I took um, did not work out really anywhere. This would be a good winter. Soak it in. Stars. 
Okay. Yeah, ev yeah, basically every decision from from the blighted caretaker on everything just the opponent had the the card that just made my decision look really bad. All right, so GG's. Let's keep both wardens praise. Let's go ahead. Let's keep them. With having caretaker and glimpse beyond. Ugh. All right. Well, now with curse keeper, I wish I didn't. I just wanted to basically get more ammunition for them. Avaros and Sentry's good. It'd be nice to have Lucian in play first before Blighted Caretaker, but I guess we do have another Blighted Caretaker. We really don't need Blighted Caretaker though right now. They're out there. I'll spot them. I'm expecting them to play Shen. Okay, because I was thinking Shen would be the best thing they could play, so they probably play that. Demacia cards are awesome. You will remember this day. Lucky you. Eat up, friend. All right, we got lots of stuff, but we just don't have any interaction. We do have lots of stuff. Brown too much. Your face will stay like that. Unlike with you around. Hmm. Everyone's a god. Does the talking. 
I don't want them getting a, a free kill with Fiora as far as um, attacking with the Blighted Caretaker. I command you to halt! We could either play another Senna. So they ch they challenge and kill Lucian. We have two Senna's that turn into 5-3 double Face attacks. Or... Did they just have single combat? Don't have... Your conquest ends here! This is rough. This would be quick. No. At least we're doing a bunch of damage Go to them. Ahead. So I feel like I, I need to play Take a look at this. Mage Seeker Conservator right now, and then Chronicler the Conservator. You know, just try to create some six plus cost spells. It can give me some, maybe some removal. Turn that thing into just generic 5 4. I guess that's worth a card. Making the dead deader. So yeah, we've drawn three extra cards than they have. It's just... Demacia has just hidden card advantage with all of the uh, challengers and stuff. Okay, a harsh wind. Not exactly the best either. Yeah, we can turn something into a Genevieve this next turn. I don't know if like this attack's worth it of getting them another kill with Fiora. It may just lose us the game if they have single combat. <clears throat> but then again, it's... You know, a bunch of damage that we're getting in, and they're at 10. Could help us win, but it could also lose us the game.
All right, so we get a bright seal formation. Yeah, I'm going to try to turn this 2-1 into a Bright Seal formation. question now is, is play stuff pre-combat or not? Things aren't the best attackers. Stomach this? You shall go no farther! Is this supposed to be a challenge? Love to be able to play this relic on defense first. Are good. My opponent's cards, it is. Alright, turns out if you only just play units against Fiora and you don't have any removal whatsoever, probably gonna lose. Only units against Fiora, not a good um, not a good recipe for winning. We had a whole bunch of, you know, two one challengers, but my two one challengers just could never take out that take out the Fiora. GG's. Yeah, the six six maximum units definitely hurt us. Maybe if I would have attacked out with everything and gotten like eight points of damage, maybe put them down to two, like, you know, we would have lost a single combat, but maybe that was the play that I needed to do. Um... Okay, this kind of matchup that's like killing all of our stuff. Honestly, Lucia and Senna aren't really that good here. 
against like an avalanche deck. They're not very good against avalanche. And my opponent is definitely an avalanche deck. They never stop. So I would much rather have Warden's Prey into Curse Keeper, into Sergeant. I'd rather have this curve into Avalanche. Yep, Sunburst can kill Unyielding Spirit units. Yep, absolutely. Discipline and steal. Making the dead deader. It's better to play this pre-combat. They want to avalanche now. You know, like we're fine with that. We get a four-three into three-three, so we attack for seven. Well, and a three-one that is. I suppose avalanche plus vile feast would be bad news. Feeling pretty good about not keeping Lucian Senna. So I would have only dealt five damage if I would have just attacked right away by playing the Senna, letting them play Avalanche. Um, we got to attack for eight. That's even better. They would like to play Hecarim, but I don't want to play Hecarim, and then they play Ruination. I can't play Black Hair. Like, the only thing I can do is, like, play Sapling Toss, and then see if they do something else, then I could play Hecarim. That doesn't sound amazing. Guess I'm just attacking. Even though this makes... This makes a play like Vile Feast very good. Now I'm only doing one damage this turn. So that made that very good for them. We have all this interaction. We needed some interaction in the last turn. The last game. Not turn. Rather keep Curse Keeper in play. For like a ruination, we still have a four three.
Yeah, the last, like, three turns have been very awkward for us, definitely. Not so good there. Chariot, I would have loved to have you before. I don't know if I just concede or if we keep playing. This game's definitely over. Who would face me? Definitely over. We had such awkward turns basically after what turn five. I guess I need to just play Hecarim and just force them to have Ruination, I guess. Maybe I just play completely into Ruination. And then if they have a Ruination, I just lose the game on the spot. But how I did play was really slow and, you know, we played into War Mother's Call. That's for sure. No, we need it, like, no, deck's not doing so hot. Against, like, the Fiora Demacia deck, we need our interaction there, and then against, which we didn't have at all, and then, and then against the War Mother deck, we don't need our interaction. We need, you know, continual threats, and we just, you know, had all interaction, you know, like, our hand was just all spells. And so we just had a couple of drawing wrong half of the deck. Kind of things happen to us. That has been hurting us. What does he want from me? But no, I mean our our opponents have been playing more powerful stuff, for sure. 
Our opponent's decks have definitely looked more powerful than ours. Um, we have not played a single... We have not gotten a single Shark Chariot attack at all. You know, right? Like, we haven't done that at all. I know this could die to the 5-1, but that's all right. We'll Curling Strike. You know, like, our deck that we're, we're trying to have, like, Shark Chariot attack and bring back Shark Chariots, it's never happened. That's how you play Shark Chariot also. Gotta get out of here. Yeah, we haven't had a you know four games. We've drawn Shark Chariot twice and both times at the very end of the game. <laughs> it's the two times we've drawn Shark Chariot at the very end of the game. We go where the war mother peace! This is our home. Everyone's a garden. Warm greetings to you, brothers. Who goes there? That's the best Avros and Outriders I've ever seen. That is the best one. Be able to play Avros and Hearthguard on curve, but then it's also an 8 8 overwhelm. It's pretty amazing. I will unite the Frail Yard. Okay, the Undying can be kind of interesting here as far as like attacking and stuff. Single combating. Try to draw two. And of course they are calling strike. So we could sapling toss. Let's see. So sapling toss would let me like challenge like the hearth guard. Attack out. They have Brittle Steel for Senna, block there, take seven. If I'm going with Blighted Caretaker, we can, you know, kill like another Caretaker and then get two challengers. Mm. Maybe that's better. And so I don't really have room for three challengers. No, I don't have room for three challengers. So we, we can't play Sapling Toss and then also Caretaker and get two more challengers. Everyone's we'll just kill us and dying. 
instead of killing a caretaker. We attack for one less this turn, but then the Undying's also dead. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty random card, but it's a great blocker on the Undying. Gotcha. Cool. It's an important one. that donation. That was very kind. Thank you so much. Well, Sapling Toss doesn't get you... I mean, I could have the... Yeah, you're saying, like, just the previous turn and get a blocker here. I could have, but it doesn't really help me win the game. I'm trying to... Trying to win the game. Hmm... All right, so we're three for three of the the time that we draw Shark Chariot is like our very last turn. <laughs> the end of the game, that's when we draw Shark Chariot. It's the three times we've drawn it. Not before any of our Blighted Caretakers that put all those ephemerals into play. Nope. Last turn of the game. Yep, classic shark chariot. They Unfortunately, they are not having any kind of bad variants like we are. The turn four outriders hit. Hearth Guard is just incredible. We could block with the Undying. Don't get to block with that thing too often. So it looks like they were playing, you know, all Freljord, like, splashing, culling strike, and reckoning. And both culling, you know, they had two culling strikes and a reckoning. They were all awesome. You know, the culling strike killed Lucian. The second culling strike kept me from drawing two cards with the Glimpse Beyond. So obviously, the reckoning finished the game out. So it seemed like two good cards to, to splash. Chance to run. 
you be here? A lady has her secrets. Okay, so we have concerted strike and single combat to try to take down Fiora. Start with single combat. Just the way I like it. And then go with concerted strike. Protect house floor. Okay. Um, so we have another concerted strike. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and play Hecarim. Let's play Hecarim. My gun yeah, finally we have good stuff. Alright, there we go. Here's <laughs> a Senna was like, don't mess with my man, Fiora. All right, so yeah, other some other decks are doing some um, so a little bit more powerful things than us, but yeah, you know, that was like our, our first time to really curve into Hecarim. That's important. We didn't didn't get to really see the the power of our deck with having Shark Chariot and and bringing back Shark Chariot with attacks, with especially with Caretaker. You never got to do that, um, you know, and then into Hecarim. So. Yeah, you know, that's that's how it goes. Um, we did draw like our our one sapling toss every single game. <laughs> it's just it's just a little one up to challenge some some small units. You know, it's it's not something that we need that often. You know, but we did have that like every single game and some of our other small things every game. But that's all right. Um, you know, we did go one and four, but I. You know, I don't I don't feel too bad about the deck. Well, it seems like it's it's not too bad. And um you know, I think we could run it back and go three and two. But um you know, just wasn't wasn't on variance was not on our side in those games, and that's how it goes. That's how it goes sometimes. Alright, but anyway, um <laughs> yeah, it was, it was because of the is yeah this is the donation the five dollar donation it rigged that game yep <laughs> anyway that's it here for illusion ephemerals those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button uh leave those comments let me know what you think of the new set and you know the cards you're super excited about um you know anything about this deck anything like that hopefully hopefully y'all are uh, leaving those comments on youtube but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video